Okay, so on this question, we are wanting to, uh, we have a power outside parentheses. So what do we do with powers outside parentheses? So powers outside parentheses, that's a parentheses, parentheses there, they multiply all, that's an important word there, powers inside. Now, which means, so every number or letter inside without a power showing, without power showing, must give it a one. It must give it a one. So I'm going to give this guy one and this guy one. Is that making sense? So any a number or letter inside the parentheses, it doesn't have a power show. Basically, everything really does have a power. Every number, every letter, everything really does have a power. So this, so, so if that two doesn't have a power on him, that five doesn't have a power on him, it's really a one. If that, if this didn't, this X to the fourth didn't have a four, it was just X, then I would give it a one because there'd only be one X, but it's got a four showing. Okay. Now, what's going to happen with the um, power now? So it's going to, as it says here, it's going to, Powers outside parentheses multiply all powers inside. So that four is going to go boom, boom, and boom. And so we're going to get two to the fourth, x to the 16th, over five to the fourth, like that. Now, let's talk. We're not done yet. Let's talk about the minus sign. That's really important. If, if I gave you something like, let's think about this one. What if I gave you negative two to the fourth power, just negative two? Well, what is that really? Well, it's negative two, negative two, negative two, negative two, right? It's four negative twos, which is what? Positive, and it comes out 16. It's positive though. My, my key point is it's positive. Why? Because it's four negatives, right? You know, every, every two negatives makes a positive and every two negatives, again, makes a positive. So that's why it's positive. What, okay, got it. But what if, what if you had, what if you had like negative two to the third power? What would that be? Well, it's negative two times negative two times negative two. And that'd be three negatives, right? The first two negatives would make a positive, but then you'd have one more negative. So it ended up being, it ended up being negative and it's eight. So, right? So you see the point? If you have an odd number of negative signs, the answer is going to end up negative because there'll be an extra negative to make it negative, right? Whereas if you have an even amount of negative side, that means they're gonna be in groups of two and every two negatives make a positive, it'll end up positive, won't it? So, um, so that's the story. So let me, let me write that part of the story as well, um, somewhere. <laughs> I'm run out of room here. Um, so that part of the story is, so even, power like two, four, six, eight, um, negative inside becomes positive, becomes a positive answer, doesn't it? You're with me? So if you have an even power, like two, four, six, or eight, the negative inside becomes a positive answer. But on the other hand, if you have an odd power, like one, three, five, seven, et cetera, the negative inside, inside becomes a negative answer. You tracking with me? So it's all about the power being odd or even because an even amount of negative signs. So this one's going to end up what? Positive, isn't it? So you don't really, you don't have to put a plus sign. there. You can just leave nothing there and it, and it means positive automatically. I'm just putting it there to be really extra clear since I'm teaching you. But, you know, if I was really doing this problem on my own, I would just put no sign there, which means positive, right? Four negative signs is positive. You have an even power, the negative inside becomes a positive answer. 
But if you have an automatic, if this was a third power out here, then I'd go, oh, three minuses is going to end up, and I put a negative here. Three minuses would end up negative, wouldn't it? So if you have an odd power, one, three, five, or seven, the negative inside becomes a negative answer, like that. All right, now the last thing we need to do is uh, work out the sign, the numbers. So what is two to the fourth? Well, two to the fourth, is two times two times two, oops, a little scribbly here, times two, which is uh, 16. And then five to the fourth, same thing, five times five times five times five, just use your calculator. 625. And so now we're finally ready to answer this long question. The answer then, 16 on the top, x to the 16th over, a little better over there, over um, one, uh, 625. And it is positive. I'm not going to put any sign. It is positive though. And so there's our final answer. Let's, so let's recap one more time. There's a lot to that problem. So powers outside parentheses, multiply every power inside, which means anybody not having a power, you got to give it a one power because it really has a one power. And so then you multiply all the powers and you get this, but then as far as the sign, even power of even amount of negative signs makes positive. If you had, if that was a third power, three negatives would end up as a negative answer. But if it's four or six negatives, an even amount of negatives ends up as a positive answer. Then just work out the numbers uh, with your calculator. And there's our final answer, and it is positive.